American Nightmare with Dave Shelton from Everybody Loves Raymond. Um, which haunted house are you looking forward to the most right now? Uh, I'm not sure. I heard all three were wicked. Mm -hmm. So whatever just causes my brains to explode and my heart to come out of my body. And I just love being scared. Mm -hmm. I'll go to a horror movie by myself and sit in the front row. And everyone's going, what the F are you doing in the front row by yourself? And I go, because it's cool. You know, it's like, how often do you feel alive when you do stuff like that? So, yeah, I'm looking at anything. And anything Rob Zombie comes up with has to be cool. Do you have a favorite Rob Zombie movie? Uh, yes, only because some of my friends are in it, uh, House of a Thousand Corpses, because Sid Haig is a good friend of mine, and I'm doing a new show called Professor Creepy Screen Party, and Erwin Keyes, who played Ravelli in the movie, is in it, and um, uh, Sid's going to be directing a film for me, so it's got to be that. Do you have a creepy on-set story? Yes. Uh, for myself? Yeah. Yeah, um, I found a dead body. Wow. Uh, actually, it was between sets. I was home, and uh, where I used to live, um, a, the son of a very famous actor from like Nanny and the Professor in the Twilight Zone had died of natural causes from alcohol poisoning. And um, no one else would go into the apartment. They haven't seen him for two weeks. I went in there. They, I said, I'll go in there. The smell was so bad. He was dead for three weeks. When I walked into the, uh, the apartment, it was all dark except for his cat chewing on some bones, and I thought it was him, but it was just some chicken bones he had gotten hold of. Then I go into the hallway, and I see, like, you know, in Poltergeist where the TV doesn't work, it's all <laughs> static, feet dangling at the end of the bed. I asked the stupidest question you could ask, knowing what's going to be there. I said, oh, are you okay? And, of course, no one answered. And then, um, so I'm walking down. And I stood in the doorway. There he is. He's been eaten up by maggots, and there's flies all over his body, and he's pumped out from uh, just gentrification of the body. I went home, I took uh, my camera, and I took a picture of him, and I still have it. And then I had to help the coroner uh, carry the body down because the fire department left, so I'm carrying his head. Oh, wow. And then three days later, his body floated, his spirit floated into my apartment, and I told him to go to heaven, and he laughed. <laughs> so that's one of my stories. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> and it's Are all true. All true. <laughs> Are there any bands that you're looking forward to seeing? Well, um, I know Ozo Motley, personally. Uh, but they're not playing tonight, they're playing later in the week. So um, depending on my schedule, I'm going to try to see them. But um, I'm friends with the Dickies. Do you know that band? Of course. <laughs> and they're playing, because tomorrow the Dickies are also working with me on a project. And I'm going to be screening at Monster Palooza tomorrow, our new show. So I won't be able to be here, but the Dickies are playing there on Saturday. So I'm going to try to come back and forth between them and stuff. Anything goth, and I'm going to try to get to Rob Zombie at the end of the weekend. <laughs> Alrighty, so look out for his new project coming uh, up. Yes, oh, Professor Creepy Screen Party. Professor Creepy Screen go. Party. Woo! <laughs> Yay! Alrighty, thank you. Thank You're you. Welcome. You too. I want to. I want the money.